Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmudu Ta'ala wa Nasta'inu wa Nasta'afiru wa Na'udhu Billah min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina min yahdi Allah fu wa muhtad wa min yudlil fala hadiya la wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wahtahu la sharika la wa ashadu an muhammadin abduhu wa rasooluhu sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam Ya ayu alladhina amanu wa taqullaha haqqu tuqatihi wa la tumutunna illa wa antum muslimun يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان الاستك الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله واهلها في النار وعياذ بالله واياكم من النار رحبت في الله واسر الله عز وجل the almighty uh, protects us and preserves us and forgives us and guides us and rectifies our condition and affairs and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ar-razzaq provides for us and increases our rizq from halal and protects us from haram and we ask that our lord subhanahu wa ta'ala يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك استغيث برحمتك نستغيث that we ask him to protect us from كل سوء ومكروه and to not leave us in charge of our affairs even for the blinking of an eye and we also ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless and protect and preserve our brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering and who are being slaughtered and oppressed like our brothers and sisters in Palestine and Lebanon and Yemen and غير ذلك and may Allah rectify our condition and affairs a habit fi Allah it's important for us to really strive our best to be better believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to follow the way of the nba nba Allah alayhim afdal salatu was salam and that they were the mu'minun haqqan they were the true believers who adhered to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the commandments of Allah azza wa jal and they illustrated their sunan and for us as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to follow that example and we have to strive our best to be of the mutamassikeen those people who really adhere and try to do righteousness strength in worship is favor it's a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he bestows on whom he wills from amongst his servants and ahl ta'a the people of obedience are able to bear 
what others are unable to bear from doing righteous acts and from the tests. And they have a vast amount of good deeds, meaning if you are from Ahla Thaw, then it's inherent that you are doing righteousness and doing good deeds and having the best of conduct and the best of character and the best of speech. And they strive to accumulate good deeds. And they invest in this worldly life for the next life. So in fact, they're investing for the next life. And their strength in worship is evidence for their iman. When they are strong in their ibadah, if they're praying all the time and they're praying on time and they're praying and doing their deeds and they're fasting the extra fast and they're doing ibadat and wa ta'at lillah, then this shows their iman and it increases their iman. And this is what the prophets alayhim afdhu salatu was salam were upon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-mubin, Ya ayyur rusul, كُلُوا مِنْ طَيِّبَاتِ وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحِ إِنِّي بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ عَلِيمٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O messengers, eat from the good foods and work righteousness. Indeed, I am fully aware of what you do. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our razzaq. He's the provider. So we have to strive our best to make the halal. To get halal earnings and strive to do halal and strive to partake in the halal, and strive to do righteous deeds, like the NBA. when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he revealed in the Torah, to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he commanded him to take the rulings, the hukmillah, with strength, and quwa, and to act upon it, and comply, with its teachings, <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in kitab al-mubin, وَكَتَبْنَا لَهُ فِي الْأَلْوَاحِ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مَوْعِدَةٍ وَتَفْسِيلًا لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ فَخُذْهَا بِقُوَّةٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we wrote for him in the tablets of things, of all things, instruction and explanation for all things, saying, take them with determination. So that means we are learning the Qur'an, and we are practicing the Qur'an, and we are calling to the Qur'an. This is what we need to do as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our ummah has to follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And I'm reminded of our shaykh, Imam Muqbil bin Hadi. Al-wadi'i Allah yarhamahu wa yaskinuhu fi jannat al-na'im. In which he said when he was talking about this strength and this quwa and this what we need to do to obtain it and what our dawah is about, and what our lives should be invested in, and what our lives, our maqsad is. And he said, Dawah to Ahlu Sunnah, Dawah to Min Kitabi Lai La Kitabi La, Wa Min Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wa La Alihi Wa Sallam, Ila Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wa La Alihi Wa Sallam. He said, the dawah of Ahlu Sunnah, is the dawah from the Book of Allah, from the Quran to the Qur'an, and from the sunnah, to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, fi kitabihi al-kareem to Yahya, the son of Zakaria, <clears throat> alayhim salatu wa salam, to adhere to the message of Allah, to the revelation قال الله سبحانه وتعالى يا يحيى خذ الكتاب بقوة O Yahya, take the scripture with strength or you know with determination meaning you're determined to be to obey it you're determined to follow it you're determined to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ilm wa fiqh wa basira <coughs> and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also praised Dawood alayhi salatu wa salam in his book when he said, وَذْكُرْ عَبْدَنَا دَعُوهُ ذَالْدِي إِنَّهُ أَوَّاب Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And remember our servant Dawood, the possessor of strength. Indeed, he was, he was one 
who repeatedly turned to Allah. Meaning Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, was always worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in very beautiful, beautiful ways. Qatada uh, rahimahullah ta'ala said, Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, was given strength in worship and understanding in Islam. It has been mentioned to us that he, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, used to stand in prayer for a third of the night and fast every other day. Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, his strength in worship is affirmed in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. In the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr, uh, uh, Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As radiyallahu ta'anhu, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Ahabba salat, ahabba salati ilallah, salat al-Dawood alayhi salatu wa salam, wa ahabba siyam ilallah, siyam al-Dawood, wa kani yanam nisf al-layl, wa yukum thuluthuhu, wa yanam sudusuhu, meaning Bukhari and Muslim. The Prophet wasallam said, the most beloved prayer to Allah is the prayer of Dawood And the most beloved fasting to Allah is the fasting of Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam. He used to sleep half the night and stand in prayer for a third of it and sleep a sixth of it, and he used to fast one day and break his fast the next, and this is in Bukhari and Muslim. If we follow the example, maybe we're not going to be able to do our ibadah quite like that, but that we follow the same methodology, we follow the same menhaj, that we take our deen with strength, and we strive our best to adhere to the tenets of Islam. With qawwa, with strength, not with softness and weakness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the believers to embrace Islam in its entirety. To act upon all of its rulings, comply with its commands and avoid its pro prohibitions, which is taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's taqwa Allah as the Salaf used to say. This is the strength in the deen, which necessitates strength in ibadah, in worship. So that means if you want to have strength in your deen, if you want to have strength in your life, in fact, it's through your worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is, in part, the meaning that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he said, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi, when he said that the, the, uh, the, the, al-mu'min qawi, mu'min, uh, al-mu'min qawi, أفضل من المؤمن ضعيف وفي كلهم خير أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, the strong believer is better than the weak believer, but in both of them is good, meaning they all have good. <coughs> they all have good. And he صلى الله عليه وسلم was talking about strong and iman. And that means doing righteous deeds. Alhamdulillah, was salatu was salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma bada habata fillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitabihi al mubin which shows us and sheds light on how we should practice our Islam and how we should enter into Islam. Meaning, we're Muslim, but really, do we truly submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do we actualize the definition of Islam? Al-Islamu and Al-Islam is uh, Al-Islam is the Islam lillah bi tawheed. That Islam, it is to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Tawheed. And to adhere stringently to his commandments. And being away from shirk, polytheism, in all of its forms and manifestations, and its people. We can't follow the way of those who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitabi al Mubin, <coughs> He says, Ya yu ladina amanu adhulu fi silmi kafa 
ولا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان انه لكم عدو مبين الله سبحانه وتعالى says oh you who believe enter into Islam completely and do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan indeed he is a he is to you an open enemy the shaitan is an open enemy to us so we have to strive our best when we see the shaitan coming to us when we hear the shaitan whispering to us when we see our nafs calling us to evil to follow the sunnah of the shaitan that we have to cut it off and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wala tatabi'u khutuwat shaitan don't follow the footsteps of the shaitan Allah the almighty commanded to hold fastly to whom firmly to Islam to act upon its commands and leave all of its prohibitions as much as you can and this is taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we've mentioned countless times and that we should be of those who do not take their desires as gods if a prescribed matter aligns with their desire they do it and if it contradicts it they abandon it but the believer <coughs> the believer is the one in which their desire should follow the haq it should follow the faith islam one should perform all the good deeds that they are capable of and intend and commit to performing deeds that they are unable to do so meaning you have the intention to do all kinds of different types of good and worship and you'll be rewarded for your intentions and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wala tabi khutuwat shaitan do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan and that means committing acts of disobedience because that's the way of the shaitan if you start doing you start backbiting people you start cursing people you start lying about people you're following the shaitan if you start <clears throat> doing the deeds of the people of, of of disobedience and the people of shaitania then you're you're disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah forgive us and guide us and protect us all i mean and the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says innahu lakum aduun mubin verily he is an open enemy to you But shaitan's an open enemy to you. And that shows us that enemy we have to put at bay. A clear enemy commands only evil and more and immorality and that which has uh, and that which harms people. <clears throat> so the shaitan brings harm to you. Even if you have some joy in doing something haram, it's only for a little bit. But then the harm of it, you'll see it. Maybe you'll see it in your body. Maybe you'll see it in your health. Maybe you'll see it in your wealth. Maybe you'll see it in your family. Maybe you'll see it in your your provisions. You don't know how the shaitan can affect you and evil can destroy you and everything that you're trying to do, which is good. And the way you combat that is having strength in your salat, strength in your fasting, strength in remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. And Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha, she said, and the Nabi and the Nabi Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kana yuqum min al-layl hatta tatafattara qadamahu Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha the mother of the believers she said that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to stand in prayer at night until his feet began to crack sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-mughira ibn shu'bah radiyallahu ta'ala an narrated qama nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم حتى تورمت قدماه The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to stand in prayer until his feet began to swell صلى الله عليه وسلم He prayed with Hudayfa رضي الله تعالى عنه once and recited in one unit of prayer in one raka the chapters of Al-Baqarah and Nisa and Ali Imran as recorded in Sahih Muslim There are numerous reports about the lengthy prayers of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wasallam and it shows us how he was persistent and strong bell the strongest in ibadah sallallahu alayhi wasallam <clears throat> and Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he when he was asked about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam's fasting he replied radiyallahu ta'ala anhu كان يصوم من الشهر حتى نرى انه لا يريد ان يفترى منه ويفترى حتى نرى انه لا يريد ان يصوم ان يصوم ان يصوم منه شيئا رواه الترمذي uh, انس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه he said when he was asked about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's fasting 
He said he used to fast so much during a specific month that we thought he would not abstain from fasting during any of it. Meaning we thought he was going to fast the whole month and it wasn't Ramadan. And he would abstain from fasting during, during a month, maybe during another month, to the point that we thought he would not fast during any of it. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This shows us the quwa of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam in ibadah. And that we need to strive our best, our utmost, to follow the way of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in, in our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have strength. Ya ibadullah, inna allaha ya'maru bil adli wal ihsan wa itaadhi al qurba wa yanha al fahshai wal munkar wa baghi wa yu'idhukum la'allukum tadakkaroon. Adhkuru allaha azim yadhkurukum wa shkuruhu yazidkum وَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ يَغْفِرْ لُكُمْ وَاتَّقُوهُ يَجْعَلْ لُكُمْ مِنْ أَمْرِكُمْ مَخْرَجًا وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ